Hi, this is a response to proof of the soul and uh, proof of the soul explained. And first off, I would like to say that I really liked the um, thought experiment. Uh, it was nice uh, and uh, unexpected. Uh, that said, I uh, wouldn't be much of a spe uh, skeptic if I didn't have a reply to it. And here it goes. Your argument was that consciousness has a cardinality and physical processes has a cardinality. And your thought experiment seemed to be meant to prove that those cardinalities were not the same. And because of that, uh, consciousness is not a physical process. Uh, maybe that's a little bit simplified. I hope I haven't uh, uh, taken out too much of the argument. But um, the problem is twofold. Uh, first of you uh, claim that uh, consciousness has the cardinality. And there are other responses uh, I've seen which argues against it. And even you uh, argued uh, against it. You said that uh, maybe people on drugs have multiple consciousness. Uh, then there's the multiple personality disorder. And then there's the uh, subconsciousness and uh, such things. So uh, consciousness, uh, the cardinality of uh, consciousness might be ill-defined. Uh, second of uh, all, uh, you said that uh, physical processes have a cardinality, and that's not necessarily true either. Um, you can define an island, but you still will find something that is in between an island and just a rock, for example, or uh, or um, which is connected to the mainland uh, some of the time and then you don't have a cardinality for islands. Um, but uh, your thought experiment, you were thinking about dividing the um, physical representation of the consciousness, so the machinery, uh, and you described a computer which can be separated into two copies uh, of itself or many. Uh, just by a slice and then you can put them together again and when are these two different physical processes and, and when uh, are they one or is there one um, uh, anyway uh, the thing about uh, the physical process of consciousness uh, is that it is a pattern you have a pattern in, say, a computer, and you say, okay, you can simulate the consciousness there, and what that means is that there is a pattern in that uh, computer which evolves and exhibits uh, consciousness. And do patterns, physical patterns, have a cardinality? And I think not. So let's start this off. You have. Um, one pattern here yeah. and okay you can say that this has cardinality one but then I can come up with this and say okay these are clearly two different patterns so this has cardinality two but then you can muddle things you can uh, do something like your thought experiment. Let's say that this paper is colored through. So if I cut it lengthwise here, I get a copy like this. Now, do I have one pattern or do I do I have two patterns? I don't know. Do you have one or two? That's a um, question of definition, and really these are physical processes. 
and already we have a problem with cardinality quite a, uh, I like uh, your problem with cardinality let's take another example so okay here I've got the pattern or do I have two patterns there's something here and there's something here and well there's something here too maybe I've got three patterns or four could be four well I don't know still more I could cut this pattern into say three parts so let's take this one and this one do I have one pattern or do I have two patterns well uh, they kind of look alike but uh, I can't put them together seamlessly they exhibit the same behavior but they're not the same so do I have one pattern or do I have two this is, this is a physical process how about now one or three patterns I could fuse them together and then maybe you would, you would say I have one pattern I could just rotate one and this one and now do I have three patterns or one pattern that's a question of definition uh, that's uh, quite a like the um, argument of Wegrin by the way that you could uh, also think about fusing together different minds and uh, then maybe you only have one mind um, so let's see I've got another example well here I have only two patterns except they can be fused like this however I could make a mirror image of uh, one of these and here it is mirror image and is that a separate pattern or is it not you can think about it as just a reflection of the other one well it's doubtful uh, it could be one, it could be two how about if I try to fuse these together so okay they could fuse seamlessly but it's still a different pattern the mirror image okay uh, but you could imagine that you altered uh, this one a little bit still seamless uh, well you have to imagine that it's seamless um, but they would then be two different patterns and you could go on so okay if this is uh, one pattern then what about uh, when I add uh, the continuation of that pattern so okay this is continuation and this is a continuation and I've added something and I've still got one pattern maybe so how does this have a cardinality? So um, no, uh, you can't say that uh, the mind is uh, or the consciousness is one and the physical processes are two and thus uh, these are not the same. Um, hope I wasn't too bombastic about this, but uh, I think it's. Uh, I think it's important uh, I don't think you have proven uh, that uh, there is a non-physical soul um, sorry about that um, okay bye